uh, you know, overall very pleased um, with the effort. You know, I thought um, North Dakota had a really good game plan coming in, and they kind of let us, you know, run our action, run our action. They didn't gamble a lot defensively. And, you know, it, it was really the first time all year that, that we – and, and even going back to the can Canadian trip, that the team had done that. And so it just took us a little bit to, to adjust, and I thought that maybe affected our defense a little bit. Um, but got going there in the second half, um, and, you know, it was good to see, um, you know, Ben play well. You know, he hasn't really done what he did tonight yet um, in a game, but he's been doing it every day in practice. Um, and obviously Malik um, was out there less than 100%, but um, gave it his all and, and added another career high. So, um, and then, you know, Javon let the game come to him again, um, hit big shots. And, um, you know, it was a great win. Everyone who played um, really contributed. I thought Aaron Gordon gave us some minutes, looked like he's um, moving better. Um, and. Um, so we just got to build on it. Um, that's a good team we, we beat, and uh, you know, proud of the effort. Malik, kind of, what are you what are you battling? So you look like a lot of good games. So you look off at one point. Kind of, what's what are you going through? Uh, I had a bone bruise on my hip, my left hip. Did that um, affect you at all? It seemed like everyone was still, you know, I think it's a career high points for you. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it just was hard, just moving laterally a little bit. Um, but once I kept getting on the bike and getting it loose, it was feeling better. I tried to tell the ref he was hurt, and five seconds later he scored. So it was, <laughs> I don't know how hard he is. <laughs> Matt, with, when, with freshmen, just, is it a point in the game, 10 seconds out of the court, 30 seconds, when you know that they're bringing it tonight? Uh, you know, not necessarily. Like, you know, with, with freshmen, it's the talent, at least the freshmen we have, the talent's there. Um, there's no doubt about it. It's just sometimes executing our scheme. And, um, you know, Ben did a great job of that tonight. Um, I thought defensively he was locked in. Um, I thought offensively he was you know, very locked in. And, um, you know, there's always moments where there's a little more clarity. Um, and I thought Ben had those moments uh, today. And so, you know, it, it happens quicker for people. Um, you know, obviously, I thought you know when Javon came in as a freshman, you knew exactly what we we're doing from the first second we told him. Um, and you know, with Ben, I think it's taken him a couple games. But um, I'm, like I told you guys, we've seen this every day in practice. I mean, he has really been tough to stop offensively, and he's done a great job defensively. Um, and so, you know, proud of the effort. And um, um, you know, obviously, Donovan gave us stuff. Emil came in and, and gave us minutes. And you know, didn't get Siggy in the game, but he's been good in practice. So, um, you know, our freshmen are our freshmen, and they've, um, you know, got to contribute a little more with, with uh, Ryan being down, but really, really proud of the effort. Uh, Malik, Matt, and Ron, it seems like offensively, especially the starters, you know, had some really good moments after maybe a, a rough start to the game. What, what went well offensively after that? Um, <clears throat> as long as we just stay patient. And do what we was uh, told, we was going to be fine. And that's what we did. Oh, we played inside out. We got the ball inside. Got it going inside first. And then we kicked it out to our shooters. Kicked it out to Javon. He's able to make plays. Um, and then we just stayed true to our offense, stayed true to our scheme throughout the course of the game. I thought our pace really picked up. I, mean, I just thought we were cutting harder, uh, moving the ball, playing downhill. Ben just. Can you talk about maybe the output today, kind of what, what worked for you on the court? I think compared to the other few games, I just felt a lot more comfortable out there, just kind of trusting the offense and letting it come to me rather than trying to force some things. And then, uh, I mean, defensively, just trying to trying to lock up and do my assignment. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where have you made the most strides this season, I think, with your game? Where have you kind of improved the most from last season to this season? Um, just confidence and playing at my own pace, um, not getting rushed, trusting in my skills and my abilities, and coaching my teammates, trusting in me as well, and getting in shape. How did you feel about uh, you know, Donovan's second start? How did you feel about him playing tonight? I thought he did did really well. Um, you know, there was a you know a couple moments that just off the top of my head defensively um, where you know he got his hand on balls, um, you know made tough. Tough shots for him, and, and and honestly, as as you know, it's easy to look at. Okay, how do they perform offensively and say that they played well? You know, as coaches, we look. Okay, 
how are they doing defensively? And I thought Donovan, um, for a majority of the game, was in the right spot. I also think North Dakota made some really good adjustments late in the second half and put us in situations that were tough. So, um, you know, it's it's back to the drawing board, but we're going to continue to coach um, and continue to get better. Oh, Matt, uh, Aaron only took one shot in 15 minutes. Is he being aggressive enough? What's going on with him? Oh, I thought he was very aggressive, got offensive rebounds, um, was tenacious on defense. You know, again, it's just, um, I thought maybe one he could have shot right at the top of the key three. Um, but for the most part, um, he's letting the game come to him. And, um, you know, there's going to be games where in 15 minutes he shoots seven, eight shots. That's just the way it worked out tonight. Going on the Canada trip, how much can you draw off that when you go on this next trip here where you're you know, on the road? We were just on the road, um, yeah. the St. Louis trip for five days. So, uh, you know, opportunities like this are fun because you get to spend a lot of time together and um, you know build your, your your team chemistry and camaraderie. And um, I know it's it's hard to quantify what that is, um, but it's probably the most important thing in basketball. And you know, right now our team's got. Um, we got you know a lot of good vibes, um, good feelings, and, and they're playing for one another, and you know that's special. Javon, how much are you asking Coach in the offseason? Like, where are we going? I mean, a tournament or anything like that? What was your reaction to the U.S. Virgin Islands? Um, I actually didn't know where we was going, <laughs> but <clears throat> I think I found out like after Canada that we was going to the Virgin Islands. And I guess he's excited. Especially to spend uh, time, a lot of time with these guys, so. Coach, I mean, like just going to like you know just going to Canada and the U.S. Virgin Islands and, and these opportunities. What are you hoping for your players to get out of in terms of just exposure to different cultures and just different places? Well, I mean, have you ever swam in the ocean? No. Have you? I'm scared. Ben? Yeah. I all right, so I mean, <coughs> there's something that they're gonna experience. Hopefully, dip their feet in the water, watch out for sharks, things like that. No, it's it's all it's all part of the process of just you know educating these young men, right? They all come from different backgrounds, um, have different experiences, and, and they're here. Um, and a big reason they came here was to play basketball, but a, another big reason was just to to receive a you know first class education. And um, I think experiences with different cultures, um, different people, um, that you know ties into your education more than anything. And um, so it's going to be awesome. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. Uh, Matt, I know you haven't had a chance to digest this game, but three and one start. I mean, what are your overall takeaways, I guess, from the first uh, four games, only lost being to a team that was in the tournament last year? And we just want to get better tomorrow. I mean, obviously, I'm proud of the start. It's better to be three and one than one and three. Um, but you know, if you get too hot or too cold in this business, it's it's not good for you. Um, and so, we're going to focus on tomorrow, and we're going to enjoy tonight, and then we're going to focus on tomorrow. And uh, um, what's what's a very talented Grand Canyon team that we're playing next?